Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Since we are officially into summer 2021, I wanna share with you all the empties I have accumulated throughout the spring months so I can empty out my empties bin and make room for some new empties for the summer months. And I'm just gonna kind of grab products out and we are gonna rapid fire mini review. We have my La Roche-Posay Tellurian Cleanser. Love it, it's a holy grail. It's good for all skin types, fragrance-free, dye-free. It's a good milk cleanser that is really good for a second step cleanse or a morning cleanse, or if you're someone who doesn't wear makeup and you just want a gentle cleanse that never strips the skin or causes irritation, cannot recommend this one enough. I also have my CeraVe Moisturizing Cream in the tub. This is a great moisturizer. I primarily use it on my body, but I also use it on my face time to time. Unlike the other CeraVe moisturizing formulas, this does not have the inclusion of niacinamide, which makes it more friendly to more people because some people can get irritated by niacinamide. So this is a great product I recommend to everyone with skin because it's just a good, friendly, easy to get along with moisturizer that works for such a wide range of people. The first was a Anthelios Kids SPF 50 lotion. The packaging has changed to where it's now orange. This formula is, the bottles I have are still good until 2023. So I'm gonna keep using it. It's great, I love it. Leaves a little bit of cast, I cover it with makeup. It's a gentle formula that normally doesn't sting around the eyes. Occasionally it might sting around my eyes. If you're really sensitive to chemical filters, because this is a chemical and mineral combination sunscreen, if you have very, very sensitive eyes, be a little careful with this around the eyes. I love it though for my arms, especially in the summer. I have the Eurage Cleansing Shower Oil. This is a nice one. I tried this out because one of my friends really enjoys this and I thought it would be a good alternative to the Roche Posay Shower Oil that I really like. While this is nice, I still prefer the La Roche Posay. Even though it's more money up front, the container is larger and normally here in Canada at Shoppers Drug Mark, if you check the end caps, you can normally find a kind of two pack, which is way, way affordable when you compare price per mil versus this. So I'm gonna stick with my La Roche Posay. This one I ended up using mostly as like a shaving oil. So really nice, you're kind of hydrating while you shave. It's fabulous for that. Speaking of shaving, I have my Aveeno Gentle Shaving Gel. I don't use shaving gels or creams quite often because I normally will use a cleanser with an active, especially if it's like for body, then I will use that. I keep one of these on hand if I just need one real quick, especially at my bathroom sink, if I need to like shave or something before a video. I will use this with this one because it doesn't have fragrance. And I don't like to mix fragrance when I do shave because the irritation from manual exfoliation plus the fragrance in a shaving product can sometimes cause irritation, so I stick with fragrance-free. I have the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Lotion. This is a really, really nice kind of no-fuss gel moisturizer that I think people with normal to oily skin will really, really like. I was using this as a daytime moisturizer. It layered well under makeup, but for me, even though I like this, I still prefer the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion, and that one also includes niacinamide. My skin gets along well with niacinamide, so that is less than half the cost of this, so I'm gonna continue with that, and I have one of those in my backup drawer. Another CeraVe goodie, the CeraVe Hydrating Eye Cream. I don't normally use eye creams, but I do keep this in my rotation because I use this to buffer around my eye area the nights I use tretinoin. If you're not familiar with buffering, actives like your retinoids, exfoliating acids, or anything that might cause your eyes to become irritated, you put this on before you apply those, creates a little kind of buffer so it can't get past. So I keep this on hand for that, and this little tube lasts forever because you need a teeny tiny amount. And for, I think it's around $18 here in Canada, you can't go wrong with it. The Olay Regenerous Night Recover Cream fragrance-free version. I had heard rumor this is being discontinued, so I started playing around with some different moisturizers because I found that out when I was going to start my YouTube channel. But since then, I can still find this readily on stores as well as the Olay Amazon storefront. So if this is being discontinued, I don't know when. I keep debating on getting a backup, but I've got some other moisturizers I'm gonna try out. So. If you find this, you're curious, it's a great one. I think you'll really enjoy it. 
Moisturizer I did not enjoy. The Cetaphil Daily Glow Cream, and this is part of their optimal hydration range. First off, packaging, if your hands are slick and like wet or where they had that slip from your moisturizer, this has like a lock and if your hands are slick, it won't lock. So it's a pain to close. It's a very thick cream that for me, if I applied over any type of my like peptide serums or an antioxidant serum at night, it wouldn't dry down. And if I tried to use this to buffer under my retinoid, my retinoid just kind of created this like thick white film. It was not pleasant. And it has a very strong artificial floral fragrance, which I don't mind fragrance, but this was just really unpleasant and it lingered. I apply this slightly too heavily at night. I would wake up the next morning and I can smell it on my pillowcase and I wouldn't repurchase this and I don't recommend it. And the one reason I really can't recommend this is because for me, if I, when I was doing my makeup, when I was doing those makeup tutorials for Fashion Art Toronto, a lot of those I did in the same day. So I was washing my face, applying moisturizer, and I was trying to get rid of this because I didn't like it. And if I applied this more than once a day, I would notice a lot of irritation around my eyes, nose, cheeks. So just skip on this one, not a fan. The L'Oreal Revitalift 1.5 Pure Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I don't know why I bought this because I normally don't buy hyaluronic acid serums. And if I'm being honest, I think I bought it because when I was walking through Walmart, there was a big blue sticker on the box that said fragrance free and I snatched that up. I generally like to suggest fragrance free products because not everyone can tolerate fragrance. So I generally suggest fragrance free, even though I don't exclusively use fragrance free products. But the reason I don't really enjoy hyaluronic acid, I don't feel like it's necessary because most of our products, our cleansers, our moisturizers, they all have hyaluronic acid or sodium hyaluronate if you look in the ingredient deck. So adding a separate one in isn't really necessary. So skip on this. Unless you really, really are diehard for hyaluronic acid, then you do you. Um, it's just not for me. Super exciting. I have my Dry Idea deodorant, just a basic antiperspirant. I apply it at night, so I stay dry and fresh throughout the next day. And it's about $2.88 here at a local drugstore, so saving the pennies and keeping me fresh, so win-win. So next we have Dior Hydrolife Deep Hydration Sorbet Water Essence. I really, really enjoyed this at first. However, towards the end, if I try to use it more than two or three days a week, it would cause irritation. This does have fragrance and the pump, when you pump it, you get this tiny little drop. So for each application, I ended up needing five or six pumps. So I started to go through this really quickly and then I don't know why, but like I mentioned, towards the end, this would cause irritation if I used it more than once a day. So while this is nice, if you don't have any issues with fragrance and you like a really lightweight serum that does well under makeup, you might wanna try this out, but I suggest getting a sample from that way. Try it before you buy it so you can make sure you won't react to the fragrant ingredients. If you saw my testing mineral SPF video, you've seen these. They were horrible. They leave a white cast. If you try to use it on the body and you're applying it over a larger area, they still leave a white cast. They feel heavy. They're sicky. Don't like them. I'm getting rid of them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. So bye-bye. Dior Show Lash Maximizing Primer. Love this. I've used many tubes over the years. It's a great lash primer and it adds a nice kind of conditioning factor to the lashes. The Dior Show Iconic Mascara, it's really, for me, this was great for the first month. I didn't use this as often after that first month mark because I had another mascara that I was using that didn't transfer. And I just, I don't have time for mascara to transfer to my lower eyes. This was a disappointment. This is the Maybelline Snap Scara in Bold Brown. I read this was a good alternative for the Glossier Lash Lick. I don't know if I just got a dud. This formula was dry. And it, from the moment I took it out of the plastic like unit carton, it was just like dried up and it was like trying to put powder on your eyes. So. I don't know if I got a dud or if this is how the formula is. Not a fan, won't repurchase. Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High in Black Brown. Phenomenal waterproof mascara. Holds a curl, doesn't smudge. It lengthens, it looks beautiful. It doesn't transfer at all. However, she is difficult to get off. So if you do not like to fuss with a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, 
you might not like this. This is for someone who's gonna take time to remove their eye makeup thoroughly or else she's gonna stay on. The sample size of the Lancome Lashy Doll. This was great for the first two months. It started to transfer under my eyes and that disappoints me. I, Everyone's different and I don't know, for me, I don't have an issue spending more premium price on a mascara, but if it's gonna transfer, I'm not gonna spend the money because I'm not gonna use it if it just ends up under my eyes. So that disappointed me and makes me sad. So if they come out with a waterproof formula, I might try that one. This is the smaller size of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This lasted so long. You only need one or two spritzes. Your makeup is on all day. You don't crease, you don't smudge, it doesn't budge. And it just, if your makeup, if you're having a bad makeup day, try spraying this on because you will look flawless. I have the full size and I have a backup. So, holy grail, love it. Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Pure Gold Luxury Lift Face Mask. Nice hydrating face mask. There's some studies that show that Cluedal Gold can have anti-aging benefits if you go for that. Um, <laughs> promise, I'm not a skeptic. I just don't like the terminology anti-aging because it's just marketing BS. No one's got time for that. And Cluedal Gold, it can help with hydration. For me, this is nice. It's a fun experience to use. You get that great kind of Midas touch gold look to the skin. For me, it's not worth the premium price tag for a face mask that just is nice. You can do better at a lower cost. A refill for the Dior Dream Skin Cushion. This is in shade 000. This is just a translucent kind of sunscreen cushion that I use on the go. This shade in particular is the untinted shade. I do find if you apply like the adequate level of coverage you need for a sunscreen, this does kind of give like a tone up effect. If you're not familiar with like the tone up effect, that's more of a popular term in like Eastern beauty where this overall effect is wanting to be more like, like light, bright, fresh. This is great for that effect. For us here in like North America, especially if your foundation or anything looks too light, it's like, why are you pale? I don't mind. I'd rather be protected than be tan. So, um, I like this. I'm currently using shade 010, which is the fair tint, and I really enjoy it. That will be in a review coming up soon. I went through an entire three pack of these so far this year. I don't know where the other two was. Maybe I threw them away. Who knows? But anyway, this is the men's Rogaine 5% foam, topical minidoxyl. You use it for treatment of hair loss. That can be male hair loss, female hair loss, anyone with hair loss that you want to kind of combat with. I love this. You do have to make a lifetime commitment because it's an ongoing affair with this product. You can't use it once, get the results that you want, and then stop because your results are going to go back to minimum. For me, I've seen a really nice improvement because my hairline, well, you can kind of see where my hairline is. There's hair here, but it's a little bit more, it's less dense. My hairline used to go back and like here. So this has really, really helped starting to fill in my hairline and like through the back of the top where I was thinning more just from genetic male pattern balding. This has been a game changer. I'm gonna talk to my dermatologist about starting finasteride because apparently this plus finasteride is like hair restoring like magic, magic in like quotations because there's no magic. It's just, it either works, it doesn't work. And if it works for one person, it's not gonna work for everyone. So. I'm curious to try it out, so we will see how they work together. By Terry Ombre Black Star in the shade Blonde Opal. While this wasn't fully empty, I went to go use this the other day and it had dried up and the entire like pencil part fell out. When they're fresh and they're not dry, they're phenomenal pencils. They're by Terry, they're, they're pricey, like it's a luxury brand. You're gonna spend coin on a luxury brand, but they are so pretty. Currently, I have the shade Misty Rock in my collection. I love it. That's a repurchase. Um, if you want to spend on a bougie cream eyeshadow pencil, the By Terry's are really, really nice. I don't know. I felt very sassy in this video. Something about going through my trash brings out the sassiness in me. So anyway, I hope you had fun going through my trash. It is time to recycle everything and start over so I can share with you my summer empties. So until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.